Welcome back to Educator.com and welcome to the lesson in the writing course about things to read. Why are we learning how to read when this is a writing course? Well, I'm going to give you some quotes that will help you understand why. Famous fiction author, one of the most famous in Great Britain. In fact, he's been so famous that I think he's actually been knighted. He says, to write, you must read extensively both inside and outside your chosen genre to the point of overflow. Terry Pratchett says, never stop reading if you want to learn how to write well. Here's another anonymous saying, be wiser than other people, but do not tell them so. How do we become wiser than other people? And conversely, there's another problem. Better to be silent and thought a fool than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt. You know what that happens? When some people, some people start giving their opinions or their ideas or their thoughts on something they really don't know a lot about, well, they look kind of dumb. So how do we be wiser than other men instead of looking dumb? Well, we have to kind of learn how to learn and how to learn on kind of our own motivation. And here's something, a quick important lesson in a story that I'm going to tell you. Once upon a time, a certain teacher was out of college. The first job was shaking hands and showing off kitchen knives and calling customers. College graduate, remember, is now being told, hey, you should go read this book. You should go do some more studying. Wait, why? Why should somebody continue to read and study after they're out of college? Well, turns out it's like this. Millionaires read one nonfiction book a month. I'm not kidding. You can look that up. Go Google it. Millionaires read one nonfiction book a month. There's one millionaire named Derek Sivers. Derek Sivers is not a famous writer, but he is a millionaire, and he founded a company and then sold it just because it grew too big and he didn't really want a management anymore. He started other businesses. His blog, where he writes all the time, has a huge list of books that he reads. So, if you don't want to read to be a writer, and I understand not everybody wants to be a famous writer, you can always read a lot more just to be a millionaire.